Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La, La Land, where passion meets purpose. Sheree O'Neill, thank you so much for being with us thank today. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Hey! <laughs> so thank excited. You. With what you're doing, you have a huge program happening this weekend, and you are going to get some wigs. I am going to get some wigs. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, we're, we're partnered with the American Cancer Society and a wig company called Lyrical Hair. And so every ticket we sell gifts a woman going coping with cancer mm. of a new wig. Um, I know this very personally because I lost my mom to breast cancer, so I'm very passionate about this. And passion meeting purpose, I'm an actress, uh, and my mom and I both believed in just using your art to be of service and to give back. So mm -hmm. it's a perfect opportunity to meet passion and purpose. Amazing. Wow. So, so tell us a little bit about the event. Okay, so it's a five-week philanthropic performance event. It's a solo show that I wrote. It's a love letter to my grandmother and my mom, just really dealing with breaking family cycles and finding your own path. Mm -hmm. And we talk about many things, especially what's going on in the world now, and the Me Too movement, um, sexual assault, absent fathers, you know, finding your own self-love and self-worth um, to make it through. Mm. So what did you want to say to them? What's the overall, like, what is the the total message for them? I want people to walk away having a sense of knowing that their voice matters and that um, what they have to say is important. And uh, it's important to look at your truth and share it with people because that's where the healing begins. Mm. Mm. Awesome. Have the greatest inspirations in your life been your mom and your grandma? Yes, yes, my mom and my grandmother have been everything. I mean, just speaking with uh, the other young lady beforehand. Um, you know, my mom, my grandmother lived till 94. I became her caregiver. This was the impetus of writing the show, actually, because when she passed away, I was really questioning, like, what am I here for and what is this really about? Mm -hmm. She lost everybody in her life. She voted for an African-American president twice, which I thought, I'm sure she never thought she would be able to do. And um, she outlived everyone, but she woke up with a smile, and I was fascinated with that. So mm -hmm. the play was an answer to asking those questions about what my purpose was here, mm -hmm. and that was what came out. Profound. The play. How do you wake up a, with, with a smile when you have a tough day or a tough week or a tough year? You know, sometimes I don't, yeah. and that's the, that's, the, that's the truth of it all. It's like, it's okay. It's, every moment is precious, and you can go on to the next moment, and you have an opportunity every moment to switch your perspective. Um, so I don't beat myself off if I don't get up in the morning and say, ooh, this is a great day. <laughs> right. um, so yeah, I actually have a piece in the play called I Don't Feel Like It. Mm, so. so true. You know, working with clients and doing subconscious work, we know that spiritually when we do our own work, we heal, you know, supposedly seven generations back. I think we heal a lot more than that. But it sounds like your message is really that. It's really completing the cycles for especially the women in your life. What would you say to the women, the future generations? How would, what would you, what would the message be to them? Because your message is to your mom and your grandmother. What would the message be to the women coming forward? Well, yeah, your voice matters. Um, what you have to say is important. It's okay if, uh, if you don't have it all figured out. Mm -hmm. And it's important to share your traumas. It's, it's nothing shameful to keep it a secret, um, and it's not empowering in that way. You never know who's gonna be listening to your story. Mm -hmm. And even in speaking about it, gives you a sense of healing. Me doing the play is already breaking the cycle. Love it. Mm -hmm. Would you say the play itself and performing and entertainment on some level has been therapeutic for you? Is it cathartic or is that? Selfishly, yes. Yeah. It's like, it's, Absolutely. Every time I do it, I, it lessens the trauma. Every time I do it, I'm really amazed about how people are affected by what's being talked about, how it instills conversation, because that's what it's really about, is getting people involved in conversation and talking about it. Mm -hmm. I love it. No, no so shame in that. So how can, they find, how can they find the event? So the event is at the Lounge Theaters. We actually have a performance this Saturday and Sunday, and then thereafter, um, every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday and Saturday is at eight, uh, Sunday's at two. Uh, it's a one hour power punch, a beautiful love power punch. <laughs> um, and um, it goes by really quick. It's at the Lounge Theaters here in Hollywood. Uh, 6201 Santa Monica Boulevard. Awesome. Love Come it. by. So rough. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's $20 a ticket. I mean, it gives wow. you a, a wig and you get a uh, wig gifted in your honor, actually. That's actually. amazing. Yeah. And, a, and a really incredible play. Thank you so Super much for all yeah. of your work. Appreciate you. So important. Thank, right? you. Thank you. Yeah. Stay tuned, we'll be right back.